Hey folks, a few of you remember the recent series I did on the uh, Razor Revival where I managed to get uh, three Razor electric scooters running, the uh, two E200s and the one E300. Uh, as with all good things, the kids have been giving them a fair thrashing and um, uh, this one fell over the other day and uh, as you can see, the throttle has been just smashed to oblivion off this one. So. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try to repair the throttle. In fact, I'll just show you in a minute. Um, I'm as part of a uh, bundled deal um, that I picked up at a, a yard sale, garage sale um, a while back. I actually picked up like this little E100 scooter. So what I'm going to attempt to do is take the throttle off of an E100 um, and fit it to this E200 and see if I can get it working with the uh, E100. Uh, throttle. So here's this little E100 scooter that I'm going to attempt to take the uh, throttle off of. I'm going to attempt to take this throttle off of this E100 and fit it across onto this E200 which I managed to get running properly. As you can see it's smashed there. Um, this little E100, um, I have seen them run. They're pretty gutless as you can see. It's a pretty small motor in there and they, the speed controllers. Um, they're pretty small, but um, I'm hoping I can rescue the speed controller. But also, when you look at this, you can see the uh, front wheel of the E100 is the same size as the E200. Um, and in fact, the tire, um, the tire on the tube on this one is in really good condition. Um, the back wheel, however, is a really skinny wheel, so I might actually uh, take uh, swap the front wheel over onto one of the E200s. Um, just because, you know, far better condition as well. So just looking at this throttle, I can see there's a uh, there's an Allen key slot there on the throttle. So I've gone and found uh, a Allen key. I think it's another two Allen key, a two mil Allen key. And I'm going to attempt to undo that, um, that uh, Allen key and see if I can get that throttle to actually slide backwards and forwards there. So let's see how we go here. Oh, it's pretty tight. All right, here we go. Put that in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that certainly made it. Okay, so that'll slide back now. I don't really want to take that grub screw all the way out because I don't really want to lose that. So I suppose the next trick's going to be to actually get that grip off. Wow, that is tight. Now, it doesn't seem to even want to rotate so I'm just wondering perhaps I'll get a screwdriver onto that and maybe it's a little bit of soap or something got a little bit of liquid soap here see if we can get that in there see if we can actually just there we go get that grip under there I managed to uh, get some liquid soap down there and just with a little bit of water you can see I've managed to get that that nice and loose that grip so now I should be able to get that speed that throttle controller off of this E100 all right perfect so that's off of there chuck that grip on grip back on actually to be honest I might just I might just leave that off completely and just put that in my bunch of razor spare parts because that looks pretty much like it's identical to the E200 grips. So I'm sure at some stage I'm going to need to put a couple of new hand grips on one of the E200s. So I'm going to put that to one side. Um, like I say, I'm starting to build up a fair collection of parts for the razor scooters. Don't care about this E100 because it's a pretty gutless little scooter anyway. Uh, but 
the E two hundreds and those E three hundreds, um, they're nice scooters for the kids. Just undoing all of this here, and um, we'll see if we can get the whole throttle out as a complete unit. I'm really hoping that this will be um, this will be a good unit that will run on that um, E two hundred. These little curly, curly things for those uh, throttles, they're pretty cool as well. Bit of a cable tie down there. So I'll go get some, uh, go get some pinches and we'll get that cable tie off. Got the cutters here. I'll just swing it around so you can see what I'm doing here. Swing it around like that. Pretty tight fit trying to get that out there. Through these grommets. But kind of got me now. Be nice if I can get this out completely. There we go. Alright, so got the got the uh, this, the throttle control here off of that uh, E100 scooter prop screw and tack. Let's see now if we can get that um, another E200 apart. See how we go with that. First thing I've noticed with, with the E200 is, is similar to the similar to the E100 is that that hand grip is really really tough. See this this hand grip I can't turn that at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that under the water tap as well. I will just try to loosen that. See if we can do the same as we did the last one. So. Um, slip the screwdriver under, get a bit of, a bit of break that seal a bit, can't spin that at all, so I'll actually show you what to do this time, pretty agricultural, we're just going to chuck it, hold it and chuck it under the tap and we'll try and get a bit of a, a bit of water in there, maybe a bit of liquid soap, see if we can get a bit of a twist action going, get that hand grip going. soap here and I'm just going to pour that flex that up with the screwdriver that grip and this teaspoon so 
mix that up like that and we'll just pour that and put soap in there. There we go. Finally, I've got that bit of that bit of slip there. And you can see that's just gonna pop straight off there. So a bit of bit of persuasion got there in the end. Alright, so let's come back over here. slide straight off there now there's a bit of a collar here okay oh, that's pretty that's already loose to death and that's the grub screw so I'm guessing that little collar will just come straight off with a bit of persuasion there we go that off. here we go nice now I'm just going to pull the Pull the deck off this scooter, and we'll have a have a good look inside and try to get this um, speed control run fuck from the inside there. Put it on the side. All right. What I might do is actually just take the batteries out of this straight away, so that we don't cause any short circuits because we know this scooter's in good working condition. And we'll work to, just like we did with the other one, we'll work to actually get the speed controller taken out. It's got all these lovely twisty things. Um, similar to the E100, so we'll get that, get that off there. Gonna have heaps of these left over by the end. And we'll be able to use both of them. We're putting it all back together from the E100 and from the this E200. Once again, I've got to get the side cutters and cut that cable tie down here. So, cut that off. What's going to be interesting is I can see this B controller straight away has got uh, four wires going to it. So, uh, the, sorry, the throttle can, throttle has got four wires where the one off the E100 only actually had two wires. So I might actually have to go do a little bit of research or a little bit of trial and error to kind of work out what is happening with the controller. It looks like it's got uh, a negative and a positive and then a green and a red I kind of noticed with the 
E200 that had lights, and the lights indicate whether it's powered on or not, which the, which the E100 um, didn't have. Last night, I was working on this Razor E200 scooter, which has got the damaged throttle. Uh, as you know, I had taken this uh, throttle off for an older Razor E100, the smaller scooter. And I got to the point where uh, the Razor E100 has a two-wire throttle. However, the, I could see that uh, uh, when going to remove the throttle from the E200, it's a four-wire throttle. So I was getting kind of late last night, and rather than rush it, I decided to call it quits. Didn't want to blow up the controller in this 200. Uh, so to call it quits, um, pack up and go inside. So I uh, just wanted to show where I'm up to. Um, managed to download a electrical schematic for the Razer E200 here. And what you can see is it clearly shows the throttle connector with the four wire throttle going through to the controller. What I did was I googled this uh, model of uh, controller, the C2201C6. What I was able to ascertain is that the green wire coming into the controller is the uh, what they call the control wire. Uh, that green wire takes a signal of 0 to 4.4 volts. We've got the red wire with 4.4 volts on it all the time. The black is a ground. And the grey takes a 24 volt connection. So thinking about this, um, what I've decided to do is I've got the control wire 0 to 4.4 volts and the red. If we use the two wire throttle across that green and red, we'll probably we will, we'll lose our variable speed control. Um, effectively, just be switching so that's what we're going to attempt to do here with the uh, Raze E200 today. Try to wire up that uh, two-wire throttle across the green and the red there. So let's go have a look back at that Razer E200. So looking down here now, we've got the green and the red coming in the top two sides. So if we look here closely, we can see we've got the, the, the white and the pink, white and the pink connection there. Um, so it's, it's the white and the pink that's coming out this side that we're going to uh, want to connect. Interestingly, the color combinations are slightly different to that schematic um, on, on this side. However, on the controller, they're the same. We've got the green, the red, the gray, and the black. So just running through those, this is a green that's control wire into that, um, Speed control, the control wire takes a zero to 4.4 volts. The red is the 4.4 volts. Uh, the black is obviously the ground, and that gray had that constant 24 volts. I think that's just to run those LEDs, really. So, I'm gonna, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just cut the, um, cut the, uh, um, the cord on the outside, and we'll just see if we can hook up the directly connect the white and pink and see if we can get the controller to actually spin the wheel. So I'll just get set up here and see how we go. So I've just got the end here which we've cut. So what we want to do is you want to actually strip back some of this cable here. See what we can do. Oh, that's pretty easy. shielding off. It's got the white and the pink there. Oh, that's pretty easy just to, didn't even need strippers on that, just do it by hand. It's got the white and the pink there, as you can see, strip right back. What we might actually do is just chuck, a, chuck those batteries in there and see if we can just uh, short that across.
just put these batteries in temporarily. There, so we can uh, see what, see if we can actually get this to work. batteries hooked up. We're just going to connect the, the white and the pink there. All right. So connecting those white and the pink um, clearly makes that uh, back wheel spin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up the speed controller. The question is how we're actually going to do this. So looking at this with the, the uh, E200, we just don't have, got that, um, that uh, headstock, that T-piece fully extended. We just don't have room to get this plug of the E100 um, into the, into the uh, battery compartment there. So what we're gonna have to do is put a, splice that in to the original E200. It's fully extended so we can see, we'll give it plenty of length to match the other cables. The question is really where to put the join. Uh, put it for camera. Mm. Yeah. Might put it actually somewhere near, up near the top, to be honest. Give myself a little bit extra work with. I have to make sure I get the right cable. Bit of a pity we don't have any black heat shrink. We'll have to use this red one of the right size to go over the whole lot right here when we finish. Good idea to always put your heat shrink on first. Because uh, once you solder stuff up, um, it's a bit hard to put it on there, isn't it? Before we actually go to the effort of soldering this all up, we might actually just test. I'm pretty sure this two, two wire uh, throttle is just a switch. So let's just let's just temporarily hook this up. just by twisting the wires together like that and see what happens. Perfect.
the paper back on first. Just put a little bit of water on there so it sort of slide on easily. Slide that all the way on. Then we can uh, adjust the hand grip so that there feels about right. Well that appears to have worked really well, fitting that E100 throttle to this uh, E200 uh, scooter here. Good job, and uh, back to uh, three fully operational Razor electric scooters. Happy days.